This is going to be fun. Stay right! Yes! The bunk is a little wet though. It almost feels like I am walking downwards. You come up and it opens up. I think we're in for a birdie. Come on! <laughs> Today, we are playing at the Royal Palm Golf and Country Club. It is an absolutely spectacular, gorgeous course to be at playing at. I'm so happy to be presenting these courses to you in Lahore, in Pakistan, so you also know what golf in Pakistan looks like. We are an avid bunch of golfers who play here very, very regularly. And through the course of this video, you will also see how tough, difficult, but fun this course can be. It plays almost 6,800 yards from the blue amateur tees where I will be playing from. I will be playing just a few holes today just to show you and give you a flavor and taste of what this course looks like. So expect me to be playing a few holes. I am just adding a little difficulty for myself while doing that. I'm going to try to play under par. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's a tough task, but just to make this a little more interesting and challenging for myself, I'm going to try to play under par. And if I can, I definitely deserve a like right there. Anyway, let's go on forward and start experiencing Royal Palm with me. So we're at hole number 10 on the back nine at Royal Palm. Uh, as you see over here, it plays a dog leg uh, right. Um, it's a very difficult hole actually, it's a, it's a stroke index two and I struggle with this hole because the narrow uh, fairway is very, very narrow over here. But if you look over there, so what I'm gonna try to do is, um, there's a tree right down the center of the fairway, which is going to be my point of uh, the fairway that I want. Uh, but again, like I said, a very small fairway. I'm gonna try my best to get it. We need about a 250, 50 uh, yards shot. The second shot then becomes a lot a easier. left of the tree I was aiming. I got a good bounce. <laughs> so these are the trees actually that I was trying to avoid and I struggled with so much. I wanted to be right of that because that's the fairway right there. But uh, I found myself over here, left of the trees. But as you can see, we have an open shot on the flag. I'm pretty happy with the shot actually. Uh, it's not the fairway ideally, but that's fine. We have an open shot. Uh, I have 150 yards to the green. Um, I'm hitting my nine iron because the ball kind of rolls off the green. Uh, so I just want to get to the center of the green and have it uh, roll up to the flag, hopefully. Uh, we're trying to play under par today. The few, these few holes that we play, uh, let's see if we can kick off with a birdie on the 10th hole. <laughs> let's see. Stay right. Stay. <laughs> Had the right idea. Just that drew a little too much. The wind took it slightly left. We are on the green. Uh, longer part for birdie, but uh, you never know. So we're on the green. Uh, have about a 25 footer for a birdie maybe. Keep going. Oh, I did not hit that enough. This part had a 0% chance of going in because I just didn't play it hard enough. Uh, just got a little two footer for a par. Let's try to clean this hole. It's gonna try playing it left in. Yes. So we started off with a par on the first hole. Uh, just got a few more to go to try to play under par this round. That's a good, good start. 
I'm very happy with that. Moving on to a difficult par three. Lesser chances of a birdie. Let's see. We're on the 11th hole, uh, the par three. Uh, the flag is placed at the center in the beginning of the green. Actually makes it a little bit easier because the green on the right and the left uh, becomes too and undulated. So playing it center is an easier hole to play actually. It's playing 168 yards right now. I'm actually going to go with my seven iron. Stay on this line. Stay on this line. I think we're in for a birdie. I think that's a great shot. Uh, we'll have to go closer to the flag and see. But I'm very happy with that actually. So just look at this par three. It's so uh, beautifully made. Uh, just these palm trees add so much value to the hole, especially when you're standing at the tee box and you see them. It is also a reference point to not hit very far. But uh, I think this really adds to the beauty and the scene of this particular par three over here. And you know what makes it, makes it better? Seeing my ball over there. That makes it even better because that means that I'm in for a great chance for a birdie. Something that I do want to talk about with the greens at Royal Palm at this course is that the grain of the grass plays a very important role in where the ball goes. So if over here, the grain of the grass is slightly tilting towards the right and even if the slope isn't, uh, the ball will tend to go towards the right because of the grain. So that's one thing that really sort of adds on to the read of this particular line is the grain of the grass. So I'm just going to hit uh, a left edge in part over here and um, really badly want this birdie. Yes! <laughs> Got it! I mean honestly I did not think that I'll be getting a birdie on this particular par 3 but I'm so excited because we've got a par 5 coming the next hole which is quite doable to go to on and uh, might as well get another birdie but we're through two holes the venture to play under par for minus one. It's going well, guys. Talking about we're in hole number 12 now. Um, this plays about 100, 515 yards in total. Very doable for a two on. Uh, the only struggle and problem with it is that right down the center of the fairway, we've got the bunkers at around 250, 60 yards. And this daunting tree on the right makes it a little bit tougher as well. Also, just to add a little bit more difficulty, the entire wall on the left is an OB. It's out of bounds. So the better strategy is to stay right. Even if you miss the fairway, the right miss is on the right. I'm hitting my driver. Um, I really want to continue uh, the great birdie that we have on the last par three. Uh, let's continue this, hitting it center of the fairway. My favorite thing about uh, Royal Palm, to be honest, is that every club in your bag is tested. So I'm playing the back nine right now, especially if you play the front nine, uh, you'll possibly be teeing off with your driver, with your three wood, with irons even, because the whole play is such that a driver may not be the reasonable option for every hole, even though I know a few players who will hit the driver regardless. Unfortunately, I'm not that person who will hit a driver everywhere. However, the back nine, uh, you can play with the driver a little more, uh, but it's a beautiful so over here, especially these older trees. Uh, you can constantly hear the birds chirping and uh, it's just very scenic. And I love playing over here. It's such a soothing um, atmosphere over here, even though it's really hot to be playing outdoors, but uh, the best part about the course, it kind of compensates for it. <laughs> we are in the bunkers, the green is right there uh, in front of me. It's about a 30 yard bunker shot into the green. I uh, really want to get this well. The bunker is a little wet though. 
Um, I'm honestly unsure how to hit this shot. I'm going to wing it uh, right now. But it's a 30 yard shot on the green for a three on birdie putt on this par five. No! <laughs> it was a horrendous putt. I actually don't know what went wrong with that. I was playing over here, so about um, a grip and a half right of the hole. The ball ends up over here. <laughs> That's not what I wanted, guys. I wanted a much better putt than that. I have made my under par round a tad more difficult. I am really, really wanting to make this spot, I don't have an option. Come on! <laughs> I genuinely was really scared of that. That was a long putt. I was scared that I'll miss the par and I'll ruin my one under round through three holes, but I did not. That was a good putt, extremely happy with it. Through three holes, playing one under at this gorgeous, beautiful course at Royal Palm. We've got one of the best holes to come. I can't wait to show it to you guys. If you ever come to Royal Palm, I really do recommend to sit by the hut over here. This particular drink that they make over here, it's a lemonade. They add a tinge of rock salt in it. And especially on a summer day like today, this is the best refreshment you need. So in a place like this, this hut, it's so beautifully located on the course, by the way, because they've got one hut on the course, but it connects to four different holes, two on the back nine, two on the front nine. So I really do feel like it's, it's, it's designed so well, but with this, this makes it so much better. So we've skipped a few holes. I wanted to show you the best parts of the course. We are now on the 18th hold because I wanted to show how the course ends when you've played 18 holes, what the last green looks like, what the view of the clubhouse looks like. So we're on the 18th hole and it's actually quite a tough hole because you actually cannot see the fairway from the tee shot over here. But if you come over here for a second, so this plays a dog leg left, it turns around from here. Uh, this water, this hazard over here is actually in play if you hit the driver or if you hit the three wood really well on the right side of the fairway as well. It plays about 405 yards from where we're teeing off. And what I'm planning to do over here is if you see that round tree just in front, my aim will be to start left edge of this tree because if you hit a three wood well enough, you do find the center of the fairway. Tough hole, we're playing one under. We've got to do this. I, I did not hit that perfectly well. Just clipped the tree slightly. I think I may have found some respite on that shot. Uh, again, like I said, you really can't see the fairway from here, so I don't know exactly where it landed, but I think I will have a shot. So this is where my ball is. I just want to show you how lucky I was. You see those trees somewhere in the middle of all of this. My ball has found its way. Like I said, you don't see the fairway from the tee shot. So that's where the fairway starts. I'm just a little off the fairway. This is where the ball is. A slightly uphill lie. I've had about uh, 140 yards to the flag. The flag is on the back-ish end of the green. It's uh, an extremely difficult green, uh, extremely undulated. Uh, really, it matters where you land on the green, otherwise you're in for a three. But I'm hitting my pitching wedge. Hoping to get to the center, I'll be okay with the longer part. I really want to make this a par and get done with my under par round. So this is what it's like walking down the 18th fairway. That's the clubhouse right at the back. And uh, during matches, right down the edges of the green, you have uh, galleries and it becomes very really tough, obviously, when people are standing next to the green and watching you play. Uh, hasn't happened with me. I don't play at that level, unfortunately. But uh, that's this is what it looks like. I really wanted to show 
all of you uh, what this fairway looks like, what walking to the 18th green feels like. And I'm sure you can see a bit of the green as well, how difficult that green is. And I'm so happy to be on the green to be able to finish a good round. I did not hit that enough. Oh, I gave myself no chance for a birdie. That was a sad, sad putt. Made a par nonetheless. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video, playing Royal Palm. It's an absolutely gorgeous course, I keep saying it. I really hope that you come and play here one day and see for yourself how beautifully maintained and how well they've kept this particular course over here. Again, please like and subscribe for the next time that I upload a video, you exactly know what's happening. Thank you, till next time.